Welcome back to Pure Power of Thing podcast number 23, part four with our interview with Legends of Lifting, Ed Cohen. Yeah, and, and you know, if you can get to a contest, even if, even if you're going to get your, your clock cleaned, Jason and I have been talking about this, even if you're going to get your clock cleaned, you need to be there to get yourself better. Um, yeah, it's, it's not always about, like, uh, taking first place and stuff like that. It's usually about uh, making the list that you know you can make. Because, right. you know, like, even though a lot of times with an opener, I was going to win. Okay, that's fine. That's great. But if I didn't get the list that I knew I could do that day, I was more pissed at myself than anything. Right. Does that make it harder? Because, I mean, you're really, in that, in that sense, you're competing against yourself. No, because you can only do what you can do anyways. Right, yeah. Um, and usually not until the deadlift are you forced into anything. So it's just, it, it all comes down to how bad you want it, either way. Does that, does that make it harder to train, though? Because we, we touched on this with Wade, um, where Wade so much, I mean, he, he really doesn't have anybody pushing him as far as at the national level. Um, does, does that make it harder to train? Uh, no. Knowing that you're going to be that no, I, I, I want to do what I'm capable of. And that's it. You're so you're, you're, you're pushing, you know, if, if, if I'm capable of a, getting a thousand pound squat, that's what I want to get. I don't give a crap who's competing with me, against me, anything. I want that lift. Then that kind of sets the mood. Now a word from our sponsors. This December 1st and 2nd, Pure Powerlifting will host the USAPL American Open Powerlifting and Bench Press Championships. This open event is a national USAPL level event where the winner of the open divisions will win a spot at the women's and men's national championships. This event will be hosted in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and the team at Pure Powerlifting is looking at, run, looking at running an affordable and an entertaining event, including announcing skills of Nico Hoslander and a DJ to keep the place rocking. Check out our event website at purepowerlifting.com for applications and more information. See you December 1st and 2nd in Scranton, Pennsylvania for the 2007 American Open. Brown's Gym, located in Clark Summit, Pennsylvania, is the number one gym in northeastern Pennsylvania. This gym does not only have all the equipment you need, it's also open 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. For only $35 a month, you could be a member. Power bars, power racks, rubberized lifting platforms, and even a reverse hyper. So if you're in town or around town or just looking for a new place to train, train at Brown's Gym in Clark Summit, Pennsylvania. It's the gym for you. Now back to the podcast. So what what do you got on the radar for your next contest? In August, I'll probably do the USPF Seniors again. It might, probably will be my last one. I'm trying to get as healthy as I possibly can again. I kind of struggled the last couple of years. I wasn't as healthy as I should be. I had like a, a lower back problem that uh, just wouldn't go away, so I couldn't really pull or squat the way I wanted to. And I had uh, listened to a lot of people, and my bench went down. I used to be stronger back in the old days. So uh, I just kind of changed things around the way I think it should be. Yeah. Do you ever do you, do you ever look at that 2,500 mark and think about you're going to be able to make it? I don't know if I could make it now. I know I'm going to do over 2,400 again uh, at this meet. And then I'll decide. Um, I'm not going to push it, become, you know, an old guy. And... Uh, just have my uh, list keep diminishing and diminishing and just say, oh, just go master. Uh, I, it's, that's not just in the cards for me. So what, uh, what is in the cards after powerlifting? Uh, what kind of training do you think uh, you'll do? <laughs> just the same stuff, but maybe a little, I won't be going to that level. That's it. As long as I can, I will. Maybe get my abs back. from Inzer Advanced Design? Uh, right now I'm not. Um, I'm sure uh, John would still give me everything I want, but right now I'm not under contract. I don't think, you know, uh, John really needs anybody. Right. A lot of these equipment 
companies don't really need anyone because there's only a few. And all the guys are wearing whoever's stuff. And, you know, big guys wear this guy's and big white guys, you know, do other lists in, in this company. And uh, I think just, I don't think they need persons per se in ads and stuff like that. But they do sponsor a lot of guys given equipment, whether it's ends or tight and metal or whatever. No, I mean, so you were actually signed to a, a contract where he paid you, or is it performance-based contracts, that type of stuff? Uh, not really performance-based, but uh, uh, John, John was always very generous with me. He was always very generous. He, he, he came from the old school of powerlifting, so I think there was a little more respect there. Right. Yeah, and, and I, I, I mean, I've had this discussion with him years ago about, I mean, there really isn't, many companies competing with him as far as the gear. At that time, he had the patent on the shirt. Yeah. There wasn't even, there was no, 